morning i hope you're doing really really well nice to be back in devon and out on my gravel bike what i wanted to do today is talk you through some of the things that many people seem to do wrong when they get a gravel bike so i guess it's a bit of a do's and don'ts video or just a don'ts video but essentially if you want to get better at riding your gravel bike or if you're a bit of a newbie to all this these tips should get you on your way <coughs> So the first mistake everyone always makes is running too high a tyre pressure. So everyone seems to think that they want to keep their tyres pumped up really hard so that they go faster. But in actual fact, if you've got a little bit less pressure, then your tyre will conform to all the lumps and bumps a bit more and it will actually ro roll more smoothly. If you've got a ton of pressure in there, then you bounce around all over the place and it's actually really, really inefficient. And that's without even going into the fact you're gonna be losing out on grip and comfort. So yeah, number one mistake, pumping up your tires too much. Don't do it. Next thing you should not do. Don't put your weight really far back when you're descending. This is like an old school mountain bike thing. Everyone's always like, when you're descending, weight back that's not actually correct what you really want to do is hinge at the hips so that your hips and your bum go back but actually put your chest forwards that way you're going to make sure that you still have your center of gravity over the bike if you just stick your bum back then it straightens your arms you've got no control of the front of the bike and no weight on the front wheel either <laughs> it's really hard to do it wrong <laughs> So you just, it's almost impossible to, to ride properly like that. Really concentrate on hinging at the hips, chest forwards, eyes ahead. The next thing you should not do is ride kind of on your tiptoes. I see this a lot. Why do people do it? I don't know, but what you really want to do is drop your heels when you're descending because that's going to give you more traction and greater stability. So really focus on just driving those heels down. The next big mistake is trying to climb while standing up. You're just going to get wheel spin. You really need to be seated for nearly all gravel climbs. When you're on something very, very steep, you want to kind of shift your weight forwards and sit almost on the tip of the saddle. And that's going to help keep your front wheel planted. If you just stand up like you're on a road bike, it's not really going to work. You will wheel spin. Next thing you need to avoid doing, might sound a bit weird, but you need to not turn using the handlebars. So really what you wanna focus on is turning using your body, your line of sight, and particularly, this is a really good one, you want to point your belly button where you wanna go, and that is even better, I would say, than looking where you wanna go, although you wanna do that too. The point is, you're not steering by actually just moving the bars, you're moving your whole upper body and that's going to really, really help your cornering. And finally, don't tense up. The best way to ride is super relaxed. Obviously, you want a firm grip on the bars, but you really want to keep your arms nice and loose and your legs as well. Those are basically your suspension. So don't grip too tight, don't get tense, and you'll be a better rider for it. I hope you found these tips helpful. Let me know how you're getting on. If you want any more tips, tricks and advice videos, let me know what kind of thing you're after and I will do my best to provide it. See you later. Bye.